Hello, hello, Lisa here, and I'm going to do a really quick video on the Coco Daisy printables. I love using the printables every month. Um, I, some months I don't use them, but I've used them for several different projects, and it's just a great add-on to use. And so I thought I'd give you a quick walkthrough and a few projects that I made with it. Um, you get 10 pages, and you get several different types. There's the A5 page, you get a couple of those, A5 size. And I love the artwork this month for February. I literally am in love with this kit. So you get a printable, a uh, personal page and some artwork. And I like to fussy cut these and I'll show that a little bit later. Another personal page, you get a printable B6 page with some art, standard page, an A6 page, and even a mini page. It's so cute. And I love this one. We, there's always a bookmark or I use, I like this one. This one really made me happy because it's a list and I think it'd be great. And I'll show you what I did with it. And then you get the denim and blush is what the February is called. And so you get little cards and I love the printables. I've used them. I have a video where I've used them uh, where I printed on my calendar for the month and you can check that out in one of my other videos I've made cards. I've made all kinds of things, you know little pockets for my planners all kinds of things So I thought I'd show you a couple of things I did this month with these printables first off I made some pockets and I used the a5 page and I printed several of these out and what I did was I, I wanted to make, because I'm using A5 for February and I haven't used A5 for like four or five years. So I wanted to make, I didn't want to use my Coco Daisy Kit Papers to try this out. So I thought the printables would be great. So what I did was I printed out four of them and I made two pocket pages. To hold my stickers or whatever and all I did was I cut them I cut two for each pocket and I just put washi around the whole thing here I punched I used a circle punch to punch this out and literally that is all there is to it super quick functional I punched my holes um, I'm anxious to see. I can't wait. I'm really excited to use an A5. I don't know why because if you follow me for a while, you know A6 is my jam. But I needed a little more room. And I'll talk about that more later in the month as we go. And this one I did a top load. So this is a side one and this is a top one. And I did them exactly the same. Washi around, punched, and... You could put whatever, receipts, whatever you need in there. Little notes. Sometimes I like to write all my junk on post-it notes or on the notepads. And then I this would be great to stick them all in and look at them at the end of the month. So that's a great project for one of the printables. Next up, I made a cute little list. And I used that one page I showed you. I used this page and let me find it the standard the standard one and all I did was basically cut them both out and layered the list onto the standard because I wanted the little hearts on the side put a little washi on the other side and punched it so it'll go in I'm, I think I'm going to use this for my February get her done kind of list. I need, I have a lot to do for February. And so I love how this turned out. The back is plain and you could do whatever you want to the back, but I may just throw notes on it. I don't know. I'm, I'm really excited to try this bigger size. Next up, I made a cute little card and I already had a card, um, a card made with some embossing on it and so what I did was I used this page along with one of the extra a little bit of extra with the hearts on it 
and I cut this one out um, with a little bit of the heart with a die that I already had in my stash. And then I punched this with a circle punch. And then this is actually doubled. Punched it with another circle punch to layer it. Put a little pom-pom on it. Put it on the card and you're done. And I love it. It's cute. One of my granddaughters will love this. So it was a, that was a fun project. I love, love, love making memory decks cards. So I printed one, another A5 size and I cut the memory decks out with the dies that I have. You can even cut it any shape you want as long as you have the memory decks punch. You can do any shape you want. So what I did here was I have all these little pieces that I fussy cut. I love fussy cutting. It's really relaxing. And I didn't know what I wanted to do, but you can make pretty bouquets out of this. I love these flowers. So I cut the two shapes, you know, use the artwork so that it, you know, use the artwork, oops, use the artwork. And I use this fussy cut shape and this one the stickers are from the Daisy add-on kit. Oh my goodness. If I had to pick only one kit, the Daisy add-on kit is my new favorite sticker kit from Coco Daisy. Anyway, so I use the stickers. I put washi on the top and all the little cutouts. I did a little bouquet here. And I love how it turned out. It's just nice little nice. I love ma making memory decks cards. I need to get back into doing that. And now that we're in a new year, my goal is to do at least three or four every month. So at the end of the year, I can look through them. And I like to write positive things on the back that go with however, whatever I did on the front. So I'm excited for that for the new year. Anyway, that there's so many possibilities with the Sometimes when I make a dashboard, I like adding extra to it. You know, the, uh, that I, the paper that I get in my kits. So much to do with it. Aren't these all cute? I love the florals this month and the hearts. Pretty. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that video. Show you a little bit extra what to do with the Coco Daisy printables. And thank you for watching.